A woman's car crashed into a fence. J Just as she was about to die, something magical happened. A bowl of lightning struck her car. The high voltage current defibrillated her heart and she miraculously came back to life. Since then she has been out of the grip of time and forever young. Adeline had a happy family. She met a young engineer by the bridge. They soon fell in love and got married. Three years later they had a lovely daughter, but it didn't last long. Adeline's husband died during construction. Adeline was also killed in a car accident on her way home. As time passed, Adeline's daughter grew up, but she still looks young. She attributes her youthfulness to a healthy diet and exercise, her genes and good luck. However, inside she is filled with anxiety. When a friend greets her, she has to panic and find an excuse to leave. The traffic police question her young looks when they looked at her papers. Adeline can only pretend to be calm in this situation. She knew she needed to do something to change. So Adeline moved back to San Francisco in a panic and took a clerical job at the hospital. She used her position to look through a lot of material to find out the reason for her immortality. But even after another year, Adeline still didn't understand why this was happening. She looked at her unchanged face in the mirror and gave in. Adeline finally decided to accept it all. She tried to live her life in a way that made her less visible and hoped that no one would notice these details. But then her worst fears came true. One rainy night, Adeline was walking home from work as usual, but then two men in black appeared behind her. They claimed to be from the FBI and forced Adeline into their car. There was a plane in the distance. Adeline panicked and tried to escape while the men went down to negotiate. She realized that there were no handles on either side of the car door. So she frantically moved the seats. Finally she opened the trunk and escaped before the man in black came back. Can you imagine this woman is 107 years old. But her appearance is still as delicate as a young girl. A gray haired old woman came in the door to call her mother. In fact, this miraculous thing all started from an accident. Adeline not only miraculously survived a car accident decades ago but also has the appearance of eternal immortality. But this did not make Adeline happy. On the contrary, it brought misfortune to her life. She was frantically running through the rain because she had just escaped from the FBI car. She couldn't hesitate and had to escape immediately. Otherwise, she would be trapped in the lab. Adeline hurriedly packed her bags and left her ring with her daughter in front of her eyes. Even though she was sad to leave, she had to say goodbye to her daughter. Decades have passed and Adeline's appearance has not changed a bit. She has remained young and beautiful. Instead of bringing her joy, it brought her a lot of danger. So she had to learn to hide from everything. She could not explain to her friend the reason for her immortality. But she was also afraid that the FBI would find her and drag her off to experiments. Adeline had to keep running away for her and her daughter's personal freedom and safety. She changed her name, address and image every 10 years. She has never told anyone what happened to her. All she had was a pet dog to keep her company. Adeline has been a lonely wanderer for decades. Adeline is seven weeks away from her next rebirth. And that's when she'll start living in a remote rural area under the name Susan. On New Year's Eve, Adeline is invited to a party by a friend. She attended in costume and saw an old photo of her at the party. Her hair was still stylish and wavy. The photos were still in black and white. She was sitting at the table smiling happily with all the time that has passed and her looks hadn't changed at all. She just changed her hair. She comes to the table to drink with her friend. Her blind friend has now become old. She doesn't know that Adeline is still young, but instead she exclaims that one should live in the present. Over the years Adeline has watched her daughter grow up and her friends grow old. Adeline looked up to hide the sadness in her eyes. Her eyes met with a handsome man. This man's presence made Adeline feel a love she hadn't felt in a long time. But when she saw the man surrounded by young women, she bowed her head in disappointment. Although her face was still beautiful, the truth was that she was no longer young. Adeline watched the New Year's fireworks and prepared to leave the party. However, the man caught up with her. The man excitedly says his name is Ellis and he wants to have a romantic date with Adeline. But Adeline didn't want to be with him. She had been used to being alone for years. Years of cautious behavior wouldn't allow her to make any mistakes. This man brings his girlfriend home, but his girlfriend looks exactly like his father's first love. Uh, Jenny, actually. After New Year's Eve, Adeline is working at the library as usual. However, she didn't expect to meet Ellis again. She wanted to refuse Ellis' invitation again, but she decided to give him a chance. After thinking it over, they had a great date. 
Adeline hadn't been this happy in a long time. They had fallen in love as passionately as young people for the first time in a 100-year life. Adeline wanted to spend the rest of her life with someone, but the reality was harsh. The dog that had been with Adeline for many years died of illness. Adeline could only send him away from this world with tears in his eyes. At this moment, Adeline realized that she was not worthy of love because she was abandoned by time. She couldn't accept that the people around her were leaving one by one and there was nothing she could do about it. So she left town without informing Ellis. However, Ellis found her. He is already attracted to Adeline, but the barriers of time will separate them. Adeline has no choice but to reject him. Despite her love for Ellis, Adeline feels pain. Afterwards, she decided to take the plunge and pursue happiness with her daughter's persuasion. So she found Alice and apologized to him. The two of them get back together. Their relationship grows closer and closer. Alice took Adeline home to meet his parents and picked up his niece on the way. They were a happy family, but then a change came. Alice's father came out of the room and was surprised to see Adeline. Adeline, Adeline looks exactly like his first love. Alice's father tries to ask what happened, but Adeline finds another reason to pass it off. Willem senses that something is wrong. When he met Adeline, who was out for a walk, he noticed the scar on Adeline's hand and instantly remembered that he had stitched it up for her. Adeline finally told him the truth after he kept asking him. The woman Will met back then was indeed her. But back then, she was afraid that immortality would bring trouble. So she chose to leave Willem with heartlessness. Willem's appearance made Adeline remember all those years of loneliness again. No one can understand Adeline's pain, so she had to choose to run away again. When Alice returned, he saw only a no left by Adeline in a hurry. He angrily questioned his father about what had happened and was ready to retrieve Adeline despite his father's obstruction. This conversation between Willem and his son also helped him to finally let go. He hands Alice his car keys and hopes it's not too late. Alice immediately drove after him. Adeline, on the run, remembers her life and the images of her happiness with Alice. She dials her daughter's phone and says she won't run away anymore. She decided to face all the difficulties this time. Just as she was letting go, a minivan crashed into her. It seemed like everything was back to square one. The accident left her on the verge of death. A passerby called an ambulance to give her an electric shock. Then Adeline slowly opened her eyes and was rushed to the hospital. When she woke up, Alice was waiting on the side. This time Adeline was brave enough to say that she loved Alice as much as Alice loved her. She finally confessed to Ellis why she had always rejected him. Love can overcome all obstacles and transcend everything. They are finally together. The day they were about to go out. But standing in front of the mirror, Adeline suddenly frowns because she saw her own gray hair. Maybe time will always rush away, but true love lasts forever. The film shows Adeline tossing and turning in the river of time. She is in pain and uncertainty and wants to run away. But she is brave for love and no longer runs away from reality. She is also no longer afraid of being treated as a monster. Perhaps we are all warriors when we have love. This is Maroon Recap. Thanks for watching. See you next time.